Would 3D cache be a good move for Intel to pair with their performance cores? Would there be challenges that AMD was able to avoid? And if Intel managed a 3D cache chip, how would AMD need to respond? Well, I imagine it's certainly technically possible. Um, would it be as beneficial? Probably not, but that's just a guess, obviously, because we haven't seen it. Uh, Intel seems to do much better with memory, uh, much more efficient memory management than AMD, whether it be accessing DRAM or local sort of cache. Uh, they seem to be able to provide excellent levels of gaming performance with a lot less cache than AMD. So there's clearly something going on there. So if adding even more, uh, but again, like we've seen from Core i5, i7, i9, the the main influence there on the performance uplifts is the cache capacity increasing rather than the core count increasing. I think I tested that with 10th gen. Yep. I imagine that's still the, the situation with 13th gen. So at what point do we see diminishing returns and that stops scaling? It, it yeah. may be that you do, you do see similar scaling to AMD. Not sure. Um, just because they're able to compete with AMD with a lot less cash doesn't mean they wouldn't still scale with more. Yep. So there's a lot of unknowns there, obviously, with this question because we, we haven't seen it. But I would say, yes, they would they would benefit from it. To what degree? Don't know, but it would be of benefit. How would AMD respond? They'd be like, oh, bother. Yep. That sucks for us. <laughs> um, they'd just have to hope that Intel wasn't as competitive on pricing or something like that. But uh, if Intel was able to be competitive on pricing and 3D cash offered you know, 20% more performance, AMD would be up that famous creek without a paddle. Yeah, Intel seems to benefit a lot these days from frequency, having very high frequencies on their parts. AMD does too, to some degree, but mm -hmm. you know, we have seen from the Vcash AMD parts that you can't clock that sort of die as high as you can the, the parts without Vcash. Mm -hmm. So if Intel runs into that same sort of problem, is that going to counteract some of the benefits of the extra cash? Especially if, as if you're saying it doesn't maybe it doesn't scale as well as we see on AMD, maybe get a little bit of performance from the extra cash, but then they have to take clock clock speeds back. Does it just negate that? I mean, mm. maybe that's one, I mean, I think the main reason why they haven't developed something like this is it takes a long time to implement features like this, but that could be a factor that's influencing their decision to offer or not offer vcash or something that's right like it comes that. with a compromise and yeah that's a significant one on their end yeah and intel may be able to schedule it better because they seem to have got the more mature scheduler with performance cores and e-cores so if they did have that dual design maybe they don't run to some of the issues that amd has with their like 7950x allocating to cash or non-cash cores yeah they don't they don't have the power budget they don't have the yeah. thermal headroom there's That's so many limitations of, of course we could be talking about future designs that yeah, aren't yeah. as yeah. limited in that regard but yeah there's trade-offs and it yeah between cost and and the frequency trade-offs it's probably just not worth it for them at least yeah. currently at present